Do others feel that you have power over them? Sometimes I feel other people do believe they, I have power over them. I, I feel one reason why they believe that is because I know a lot of things about people because I can feel the truth of what their life has been. And often I've, I feel, what, what happens if it, when I'm interacting with a person is I often feel a record of their life, right the way through their life. The choices they have made, but also what has been perpetrated against them as well. And so I often can feel that particular things, those particular things from a person. Now, sometimes other people can feel that I can feel that. Mm -hmm. And then they become quite frightened. And the reason why they become frightened is because they worry about how I'm going to use that information. But, uh, but I, I can't use that information in an unloving manner without breaking my own ethics mm -hmm. and without breaking my own relationship with God. So, so my suggestion to people is they have no need to fear me at all, even if I know lots of things about them that nobody else knows. Mm -hmm. There's no need to fear me. There is also no need to fear me for any other reason. Like, like you know, all I want to do is share truth with the world. That's all I want to do. That's my primary motivation, as you know. And uh, there's nothing to fear with that, except if you want to hold on to an error, <laughs> then perhaps there is some things to fear. Mm. Many people, I feel there are many organisations and institutions and people on this planet who are afraid of the average person having more knowledge of truth. You know, there are many institutions and governments and, and people on the planet who, and religions on the planet, who do not want the members of their particular government, religion or institution knowing more about truth. It, this, was, this, was, this has always historically been the case. The Catholic Church during the Dark Ages refused to translate the Bible, for example, into different languages that the average person could read for this one reason, because they didn't want to find out, they didn't want the average person to find out what the Bible actually said about certain things. It's a way of controlling people. And uh, my feelings are sharing the truth with people is a way of freeing people. Right? If you withhold the truth from people, then you're being controlling. So when you withhold the truth from your friend that her husband's cheating on her, you're controlling your friend's behaviour. You're not giving her the choice to make it. You're not giving her the freedom to make a choice because she believes something completely different. When you control people's behaviour like that, then you are certainly not in harmony with love or in harmony with truth. And there's always going to be negative future consequences. Sooner or later, the person's going to find out the truth. Sooner or later, they're going to realise that you didn't tell them the truth. Sooner or later, they're going to be hurt by that. The beauty of the truth is that people know straight away what they're getting and they know straight away what's happening, no matter how bad it is. Mm -hmm. And this is something that is a loving thing to give to people. Mm. Mm.